course, Becca. Under the circumstances, I think it's best if I handle the interrogation. Come on, Captain. This is insane. I didn't do anything. Well, we still need to investigate, and you know that. So, let's start with your relationship to the victim. Okay, I didn't have one. Then, any idea how your fingerprints ended up at the crime scene? Well, we went over that. CSU made a mistake. They say they didn't. Castle, if you knew her. I didn't know her. She was seeing someone. Someone her roommate described as handsome and rich. I'm flattered, but it wasn't me. Of course it has my fingerprints on it. It's my bag, but I didn't put that stuff in there. Then who did? What about Kurtzman? We know he was at her apartment that night, and he lied about it. Kurtzman alibied out. What? When? An hour ago. His lawyer got him to cooperate. Turns out he was lured there. Lured? By text message, Tessa sent. Only it wasn't from Tessa. It was from a burner phone. When Kurtzman showed up at Tessa, she told him that she didn't send it, so she sent him on his way. Then why did he lie about it? Because he spent the rest of the evening with a pay companion and didn't want his wife to know. So, what about you, Mr. Castle? Where were you the night of the murder? I was at home writing. And did anyone see you there? No, I was alone. So, for the record, you're saying you have no alibi. I think I'd like my lawyer now. 